him and Ashwin. Yeah, and we're already at number 23, the final domino effect, but. Yeah, sad to see it go, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go out with a bang today. Oh, definitely. And speaking of bang, players that go out with a bang, buck. So even with the Joker, uh, definitely gonna see some high octane options, I'm sure. Oh yeah, no, he but he goes he goes all in with like pretty much everything. It's all offense with that guy. Yeah, gonna have to gonna have to make sure you know, Oz can uh, kind of combat that with Pac-Man's great defensive tools. You know, you can place the hydrant down and hide behind it, make him have to do a select few options to get in. Yeah, already starting off with that hydrant down air. The aggressive mix-up after isn't something that Pac-Man players do very often, but it is real. You know, and it'll catch people if they're swinging or dropping shield early. Yeah, especially, like, if being able to attack on that early percent, speaking of... Uh, oh, yeah, wow. Super important. Uh, I think most of the time Pac-Man is going to want to play like a turtle, play a little bit defensive, but that said, but already oh, on the two bounces opening them up here and already will have an percent too. Yeah, Ooh. Oz is going to try and find a way to quell the fire. Okay, making it out, but trying to aggressively fight out, and Buck was ready for that with the jump back fair. Yeah, just throwing out moves at the ledge yep. already. Pulleys with the ledge jump. Arsene's going to run out, but already with a good stock lead. Oh, going go for the bell. Yeah, goes for the recatch, trying to do something a little fancy. I'm not going to get too much off of it, but... Oh, the, the, the swing in. Into <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> wanted, wanted to get the uh, Rebels guard on it, but not yeah. working out. And ended up losing the stock for that kind of funky situation. It, it's, it's crazy because you can have so much fun in this game, but when you're in bracket... You know, sometimes it's it's hard to remember to tap back in, and then suddenly yeah. your stock is gone just like that. What felt like nothing, but we may very well see that that, that stock ends up mattering, right? So true. I mean, Ooh. hey, sometimes some some people play best when they when they're playing like as friendlies, and maybe this Austin's is true. one of those players. I said he. I mean, he has the lead right now. He's keeping it pretty even. Ooh, I like this platform movement. Just not directly approaching Pac-Man because. He knows it's so hard to do that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it gets the jump over, down air, back air. Yeah, trying to trying to really go out there, but Oz gonna go for the high recovery, making it back to center stage. Good punish. All right, again, just holding on to center, staying behind that hydrant, charging up the fruit, you know what it is. I really like Oz not like hitting that, wow, random up B, but uh, I was gonna say, I really like Oz not hitting the hydrant there, because a lot of the time, Pac-Man players will almost like, uh, mess themselves up, screw themselves over by uh, priming the p hydrant a little too early. You know, oh, I got to get this back air out. I got to get this snare out. But Oz just hiding behind it, you know. Even if you're directly next to it, just being there can be a bait. Right. It, it, that's definitely, like, a good thing to set up because it's also just, like, it just becomes an inherent mix-up in and of itself because then you could prime the hydrant a little bit earlier if you need to, and then your opponent's not going to be expecting that. Exactly. Layers to it. Nice. So uh, tried to read the aggressive bell after the hydrant, but not panning out the way he wanted. Yeah. And Oz is going to wait for that Rebels guard to run out and get the bell F smash. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Big combo is almost incoming. If he gets that fair, double tech chase, or double fair tech chase, it's crazy damage potential. Goes yeah. for the grab. Oh, my goodness. Almost gets that F smash, but... Even though it didn't hit, I like going for that meaningful punish, too, because a lot of people just not punish Pac-Man uh, grab just because it lingers, and they just like, you know, oh, weird, Pac-Man's grabbing. But, like, yeah, it's, you, you got a lot of time, for sure. Definitely something to keep in mind if you're playing against Pac-Man. But anyways, Oz is kind of starting to run away with this. What looked like a little pretty, bit. pretty strong start from Buck. He's kind of just he's having a little bit of trouble, maybe not tracking him down, but just getting a meaningful hit. like. Ooh, Ooh, that F smash. Yeah, he eats an F smash. All right, Bell on deck. Buck's going to have to play extra carefully. Yeah, this is this is prime win condition nice, for yeah. Pac-Man. Going to use up the Bell there, but still has a stock lead to work with. And yeah, you can you can see Oz is starting to kind of like, he's, he's definitely just playing to the spacing, uh, trying to take center when he can, but just giving the Buck the space he needs to kind of just throw out moves with punishing here Ooh. and there. Ooh. Yeah, grab, but was mashing up B, so even though... Oh, my goodness. Wow, it looked like snapback, but uh, even though Buck got the track down fair, it just sent right into that hydrant. Yeah, all right. Oh, the... Ooh, yeah. Snags the bell. This might be what he needs. Arsene on deck, if he can seal this stock out soon. And not every character can go through the hydrant like that with a dash attack, hurtbox shifting through. 
All right, not getting hit by the Hydrant, but yeah. still the lead is not there. This is likely your last Arsene of the stock. Yeah, Arsene. Good, and you can make some work out of it potentially, but no. Yeah, oh. big, big Brother's leaving the building soon. Gets a hit, though. Gets a hit in. All right, gets a Nair, but it's base Joker from here on out. Ooh. He's got to make something happen. These people both trying to punish grabs as strong as possible. F Smash coming out from Oz. Yeah. Ooh, ooh right, the so guns. No, no commitment on down gun or up gun. Just gun gun. Yeah. Ooh, Rising Bear. Not gonna get a punish, but okay. Jumping, jumping in. Trying to really just control the air. Realizing Oz is liking to get out either via rolls or jumps, and is really just trying to keep the control over the air. Yeah. Ooh, Buck. another F Smash coming out. Tomahawk though on the punish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Buck just. Bobbing and weaving right now. Yeah, and this is all base Joker, by the way, like 11%. <gasps> oh my goodness, he is playing around that grab like it is nobody's business. Got a little nervous there, the no punish. Oh my goodness, the very end of side yep. though. It's lingering. It's lingering. It caught it caught Buck slipping. Yeah. That'll be game one to Oz. Good stuff. Kept the cool, you know. And I like to say that a lot of Pac-Mans don't, like, do anything with their side B. They just kind of go low, you know, maybe extra low to where they don't grab ledge. But Oz has been going high and then like angling it back down towards ledge so he snaps. Yeah, no, I've been so, that. so to go above is even smarter because Buck, you know, just expecting, oh, he'll just go to ledge. He just likes to up be weird. But oh right. no, the mix up is, hey, you're not safe. Ooh, okay, okay, going, going to the Ludwig, you know, tried yeah. and true, town and city. You know, I can't imagine it's a great matchup. Uh, just because Pac-Man's so good, obviously. But yeah, but it might be a comfort thing. I mean, but I was gonna say, um, undoubtedly, sorry. like Buck definitely yeah, yeah. knows uh, Junior a little bit better than he he knows Joker. Definitely, definitely. I just was gonna say as well. The I'm sure the Hydrant play is amazing. You know, you could spin out. Your back air is great. Like Arsene's good. Oh my Ooh. goodness, the option coverage. Maybe you don't even need Hydrant play. You just need some call outs. God yeah, damn. 76% off the side. That's town and city for you, baby. Got that up there going through Hydrant as well. Just lingering enough to work. Oh. All right, Oz just content to stay on the other side of the stage. Not really pressing the ledge, but I think after after that interaction, probably does not want to get too close to Buck if he can help it. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Chuck's the key. Has Bell in play. Going to get hit by the cannonball, though. Yeah, like the lingering oh hit of it. A second up the air dodge. That was, what percent was he at? Wow, he was at like 60. Dude. Had to have been. That side beat at 25% by itself. Bare Stale. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> barely barely over a minute into the game. Three stocks gone. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought I was about air. to say potential for another one with that down air. But yeah, you know Buck was out. looking for it. Yeah, definitely. All right, Oz trying to get something started off his own. Ooh, looked like he was about to go for the fair chain there. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised I didn't see an immediate, like, follow-up. Probably trying to wait for a defensive option. Patience. Okay, Melon. Doesn't really get anything because the knockback's too high. Yeah. Buck is starting to find these hits more and more often. He's, he's just he's finding and I his way in. And I love that he's chasing with this up B so often because of how much Pac-Man's like to hydrant or jump or, you know, just kind of, like, float there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, just calls out the jump from the corner and Buck taking game two in rather that dominant was, fashion. That was really good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, that, that that's like that's exactly what we were talking about with like just going all in, Hail Mary. It's just nonstop pressure. He just yeah, he just has so many ways to kill you all the time. He's always ready. Yeah, it's Ooh, like Oz not knowing Kalos isn't legal. <laughs> oh yeah, it's no, been it's, a while. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a while. He definitely, definitely only really goes to domino effect, and I mean, you can tell that the stage list uh, has definitely changed over the ages. Yeah, you always gotta love when uh, the the character or the stage select screen just got so big that so many new players, you know, they'll come in, they'll be like, oh, we'll go to Smashville, and then they'll look forever for Smashville. Especially yeah. with, with when patches were happening and the the location was changing throughout the game, <laughs> so yeah. No, that, Anyways, be. game three, Bastion. All right, this will be interesting. Uh, I'm not sure who the center platform uh, benefits more in this matchup. I'd imagine that Buck's going to be able to get a lot more like combo extensions off of it, but alternatively, I think it's a really good place for Pac-Man to hide if he has exactly. Hydra right there. Yeah. So. Oh, wow, the fall off because of the uh, the Hydrant. Also, when he side is next to Hydrant, he goes extra far back on his uh, pullback, which is uh, interesting. There's just so many little 
um, <laughs> nuances with collision when hydrants in play makes makes fighting Pac-Man so much more. I'm not I'm not gonna say difficult, but you know, difficult. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> you, you just gotta be a lot more else. straightforward. Than, oh my goodness, but okay, I thought he was about to combo right into that, but getting getting the up B after. Lots of damage. Wow, this item play is exquisite. Trying to read a jump out of shield, perhaps, with that early side B. But, yeah. Oz, staying stoic right now. Just, you know, all right, I have my hydrant, I have my fruit. That's all I need. Yeah, he's setting up shop. All right, gets the bell into up air. I think one more in a good position. He can take the stock, but let's see. Ooh, goes for the grab oh. immediately. Not able to, you know, combo off of it because of that. Yeah, recognizing the opportunity was dropped and immediately starting to chart up the fruit again. Good recognition coming out from Oz. Okay, it's just a quick up air. Up air. Yeah, Gets a bell again, so it's like you hit the move, and then the combo is I hit the move, and I get to charge another one. Yeah, wow, that's much. crazy! Oh my goodness, gets the grab from that situation. <laughs> the active happened? frames coming in clutch. The layers. <laughs> like, yep. some insane gameplay. Yeah. I love how patient Oss is playing right now. Oh my I goodness. think wanted to key <sighs> instead of side being. <sighs> oh my goodness, Buck had him at ledge. He was trying to checkmate him, but Oss... Uh, finding the key out of the situation. Yeah, just staying rather patient, kind of leaning on this key a little bit for the kill, and oh, uh, but po just po going to ledge because of it and getting down tilted by Buck. Yeah, I like I'm noticing the Oz definitely trying to keep his distance, and it has been working out for the most part. But oh, eventually, yeah, yeah, like once Buck gets in, it's like you're in the corner, like you're going to die earlier there, and that's really coming uh, back to bite him right now. Okay, they're out of shield though. Gonna punish that. Yeah. All right. Finally. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, An he's gonna he's gonna be dying to a couple fruits now. Apple definitely one of them. And uh, Galaxian loaded up. Hydrant in play. Oh my and goodness. And that's the one thing you can't get hit by on the start of the stock against Pac-Man yeah. is the opener, the 60%, the Galaxian from ledge. It's just so good, right. especially when Hydrant gets involved. Ooh, hits him on the way up with the Hydrant too. Okay. Oz awesome. starting to, I think, get a little bit more familiar with uh, Junior's antics. Yeah, definitely more, more, you know, sort of aggressive now, trying to hit Buck for jumping above the hydrant or trying to hit Buck for approaching or trying to get some grabs in. Okay, yeah. falls oh out no, and yeah. Oh, the dodge. Oh, wow, oh Buck, my goodness. Buck, like, stopped looking at himself for something because he was definitely alive. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there, but this is... One Scary. stock apiece, last game of the set. Yeah, final game, gets a big combo going. All right, Buck finding the first meaningful opening of the stock. Let's see where Trying else he takes it. Wow, all this pressure on shield is crazy, but I think it's us just respecting it a bit too much. You don't need to just continue holding shield after, uh, you know, junior side bees. Yeah, yeah honestly. Kinda... Like, I, I think us again, he's been trying to keep <gasps> his distance. And okay. oh, oh my goodness, that's it. the jump. Yeah. Yeah. Not even a kill flash. Yeah, don't don't jump against me. Quick swing. You're never beating that junior up B. It's yeah. too good. That space is mine. Oh my goodness, Buck almost Ooh. coming off e the off the stage sideways there, a little pizzazz. Yeah. I thought he was gonna fall, but you know, as gracious as ever. Oh my yeah, goodness. So uh, good stuff from Oz, you know, good fight. Joker uh Buck's Joker is no no slouch. It's it's solid for sure. Yeah, no, um, I mean, so getting the dub on that and then having some decently close games with the junior. <laughs> oh wow, just barely getting in there. Yeah, that must have been like the last few active frames, and I cannot believe. I don't think he was ready for that upbeat. Yeah, definitely not. Air dodged right into it. But yeah, ultimately, I think what that set came down to is you you did mention it uh, towards the end of that last game is like. Oss is kind of just respecting Buck too much. Like, I understand the mindset behind, like, wanting to, like, give him all this space and kind of just stay on one side of the stage. But, like, sometimes you kind of just get in there and scrap. And yeah. I think Oss was just, like, not taking any of those opportunities. He was just sitting back. Uh, I One thing I did like from him uh, is I noticed he was just kind of chucking fruit at uh, 